ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನ ಮನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ ಕಿಂಧುವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನ ಅವಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತ ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತವರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತವರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕ ಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯಕಾಕ್ಷೌ ವೈಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದನ್ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಕ್ಷನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಯಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जाषा पुरुषम साक्षात आत्म प्रभवेश्वर न भजती अवजनती स्थानाद भ्रष्टा पतंती अद जाषा पुरुषम साक्षात आत्म प्रभवीश्वर न भजती अवजनती स्थान भ्रष्टा पतंती अद गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन अवर लाइफ दे संकीर्तन में था इफ इट इज जस्ट गेटिंग मेच्योरिटी देन इट इज गुड फॉर अस एंड एंड इफ ग्रह में था इज जस्ट गेटिंग इंक्रीमेंट देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट इज ग्रह में था एंड संकीर्तन में था सो इन अवर लाइफ इफ ग्रह में था इज जस्ट गेटिंग इंक्रीमेंट इफ इट्स इंक्रीजिंग देन then there is lot of problems even our life we will just be going into fallen condition and if in our life if sankirtan meda is increasing then it is good for us in the grast devotees or maybe renounced order person both of them actually it is both applicable for them like when daksh prajapati दक्ष प्रजापति इन द लाइफ ऑफ दक्ष प्रजापति ग्रह मेधा वॉज इंक्रीजिंग सो मच इट इज क्रीजिंग रैपिडली सो रैपिडली इट इंक्रीज इज दैट एट द एंड ही एक्चुअली जस्ट डिसरिस्पेक्टेड शंकर शंकर भगवान एंड ही वॉज जस्ट डिसरिस्पेक्टिंग हिम दैट इज द एक्चुअल सिम्टम ऑफ ग्रह मेधा वॉट इज एक्चुअली डन इन ग्रह मेधा इन ग्रह मेधा देर इज प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एंड इन ग्रह मेधा the swarth the greediness there is a question of greediness for your self interest it comes the question comes and in grey mother money position rank land property and all everything child wife everything that uh, will just go on increasing but if you would if you have just taken a renounced order uh, vesh also and you still you are just attracted to this inside you are getting attraction towards collecting more money land property etc then he is actually staying in mat mat but actually is staying in mat is useless that is no of no use that is reverse condition and he was actually just taking a bhiksha uh, from someone it is more dangerous so sankirtan me the if it is just getting maturity in our life then it is good for us that is the top most thing that is very good for us sankirtan me the by increasing sankirtan me the what will happen that we will just get uh, at the lotus feet of guru charan we will get more attraction towards our guru charan if we will get attracted to guru charan and we will get more attracted towards guru seva and we will just be hearing more hari kar hari katha and we'll be doing more uh, getting more attraction towards hari naam sankirtan so if it is going on then definitely sankirtan meda is getting uh, maturity and it is a very good uh, indication daksha prajapati actually his name was daksha why daksh means in english translation daksh means efficient daksh that means in english translation it is efficient this will come out so he is efficient in which uh, vishay actually if someone questions that daksha is efficient in which vishay uh, daksh is efficient in uh, in uh, in just increasing wife child daksh is actually efficient in profit and loss account in just maintaining that daksh is efficient in uh, maintaining uh, his uh, that uh, this is my this false ego that this is all mine so this kind of vichar is there in certain la, la puja pratishta how it will get increased day by day that is why his name is daksh efficient in material works so the shlok which i have already told in the i have started 
इट इज फ्रॉम भागवत जी महापुराण इलेवेंथ कैंटो दैट भगवान इज सो मर्सीफुल दैट ही इज द मास्टर ऑफ इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड एंड ही इज जस्ट मेंटेनिंग दैट इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड सो मर्सीफुल एंड ही इज एक्चुअली जस्ट प्रोटेक्टिंग ऑल द बॉन्डेड जीवस एंड इन कमिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ प्योर वैष्ण ऑफ साधु इन द फॉर्म ऑफ नाम धाम ऑल अरेंजमेंट्स इज डन बाई कृष्णा हैज डन ऑलरेडी सो मर्सीफुल कृष्ण इज दैट्स वाई दिस सो मच मर्सीफुल कृष्ण so he has done so much arrangements what he has done it is for our eternal happiness but actually in our bonded state we are not actually thinking that it, this is not good for us so this param purush bhagwan so those लाइक भग पराखरत अखिलेश्वर भगवान श्री कृष्ण ही हैज दैट इन्फिनिटी प्रभाव ऑन एवरी वन बट जस्ट बाई थिंकिंग ऑफ हिज लीलाज एवरी विल एवरी वन विल बिकम मैड सो दिस भगवान सो मच ऐश्वर्य सो मच ब्रेवनेस सो मच लीला सो मच कैपेसिटी Everything he has re- has been reserved by Bhagwan. So all these things actually, Ashwarya, capacity, braveness, Gyan Vairagya. Who who is actually the king of all the six, uh, six Ashwarya? and who is the actual master of all the six ashwaryas that krishna actually he is the who is doing uh, giving actually eternal happiness to the whole world actually if no uh, if no if someone don't want to do his bhajan then definitely definitely he will just to be getting fallen down from his own position and he will get fall down from his own position like daksh daksh is the prajapati daksh is prajapati daksh he has just fallen down from his position how maharaj actually he has done uh, aparad onto lotus feet of shankar bhagwan that's why so and uh, he is not a normal aparad but it's a very big aparad that in front of all the all the samrajya he has just uh, made uh, brahma ji has actually given upon this uh, confer upon him the title of all that he will be the master of all the material people that of this whole material world what whosoever all the jivas will uh, he is the topmost master there but actually has just fallen off from his own position that daksh prajapati has just got fallen because he didn't hasn't done any bhajan and uh, भगवान शंकर भगवान इज अ टॉप मोस्ट डिवोटी ऑफ कृष्णा ही हैज जस्ट एन अपराध ऑन टू हिज डो लोटस विद जस्ट बाय डिसरिस्पेक्टिंग हिम सो गृहस्थ फॉर गृहस्थ व्यक्ति दिस गृह मदा हु दोज हु हैव गृह मदा फॉर देम इटरनल हैप्पीनेस दैट पाथवे इज जस्ट ब्लॉक्ड नो इटरनल हैप्पीनेस विल बी देयर इन हिज लाइफ व्हाई बिकॉज गृह मदा एक्चुअली दे आर दे ऑल द टाइम एक्चुअली थिंकिंग अबाउट देयर ओन हैप्पीनेस and about their own enjoying mood they are all the time busy in that and they don't want to uh, get busy in krishna seva and if someone is getting some uh, internal uh, deep intention to do krishna seva and if they can uh, just do that in deep intention to do krishna seva then they will get eternal happiness but these grahamada people definitely they can't leave their wife children money land property relatives they have some attraction on them they just want to make a, a different kind of uh, they have relationship with them they just want to have relationship with these things so if they will just leave that all and uh, they and, and they will just be doing krishna bhajan if they have that uh, they will just think of that of doing krishna bhajan then they, it is good for them 
सो दोज पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली परमार्थिक ग्रस्त मीन्स दोज आर ग्रस्त वैष्णव एक्चुअली दे हैव वॉट एवर रिलेटिव देयर वाइफ देयर चाइल्ड एंड वॉट एवर दे आर डूइंग द एफर्ट्स दे आर ऑल डूइंग एफर्ट्स फॉर हरी भजन वॉट एवर दे हैव द होम एंड वॉट एवर रिलेटिव वॉट एवर एफर्ट्स दे आर डूइंग दे आर गिविंग दैट एनर्जी फॉर दैम दिस is this type of energy if they they are not giving at all for hari bhajan if he is a pure grast vaishnav is if he is a pure grast vaishnav definitely he will give it for energy for hari bhajan whatever energy is giving for relatives and uh, wife and child definitely he will give it for uh, he will definitely give it for uh, hari bhajan as well in the house also he is there in the house but still he is actually not in grih meda he is doing uh, sankirtan meda all the time that is pure krast vaishnav because whosoever in the house whether all the relatives if they are all the time busy in hari bhajan then even if if you are just giving them some food also prasadam also then still it is good because they are all doing hari bhajan all are engaged in hari bhajan so there is no uh, uh, there is no dosh regarding this so whatever actually he is actually just maintaining his relatives by just uh, collecting money so it is not a uh, uh, dosh otherwise what will happen like just giving milk and banana like uh, you are just uh, uh, feeding that snake it will be just like that the arrangement will be like that prabhupad speaking if it is not like that then all the relatives and if they are no if they are uh, uh, doing hari bhajan then you are doing for them oh it's good but if they are not doing hari bhajan all their relatives and uh, the child then definitely that uh, all family it is just like uh, just giving like milk and banana to a snake which is very poisonous and you are just uh, uh, maintaining that snake in your house it is just like that and for that in maha in bhagwat ji mahapurana it is written sajjana khya dakshu that this all this family members relatives they are sajjan they are just uh, titled by sajjan sajjan dashu dashu means they are enemies they are enemies of ours they are actually pratikul definitely they are pratikul and you don't have anything uh, to do i have a lot of explanation i have given to so much people but still they are not able to understand my point i told them that my your family members your be your wife your child everything if they don't want they will not do hari bhajan at all and in reverse what they are just uh, uh, using foul words for all pure vaishnav they are actually against pure guru vaishnav and they are just eating all uh, poisonous food that is not good that is poisonous food they are all eating that and uh, if you will just be staying with them they are just be exchanging preeti with them then definitely your bhajan you will your consciousness will fall down and you can't get increment in your bhajan i have told it a lot of time that your uh, child and wife are eating uh, fish meat and if you are just be uh, just uh, kissing your child then definitely that will that you will go you will you will be taking non veg food if you will just by kissing them so you just be very careful about this point so that your bhajan uh, can get protection and bhakti vinod thakur has already told this point up till this that in order to get increment in your bhajan for that uh, it is all against whatever those who are against guru vaishnav that the don't do association even if your father and mother are there against vaishnav then you have to leave them prabhupa told that prabhupa actually those who are against guru vaishnav against hari bhajan those who are against hari bhajan those people actually you need to they are just taking your vitamin and minerals whatever the that is the actual vitals of your bhajan they are all eating that up chaitanya mahaprabhu what is that vastu what is the actual ins- what is the actual instruction what mahaprabhu has given the golden instruction if you want to understand if you want to take that then definitely you need to whatever uh, uh, whatever problems you are c- coming in your life whatever uh, distress coming in your life still you will be feeling happy do those, those who are actually those who are against uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu devotees those who are just uh, using foul words against them definitely you need to uh, leave them 
Bhaktivinoda Thakur has told that and Prabhupada also told that. If you will not leave them, then definitely what you, whatever you will do, you will get that result. You need to get the result because you don't be doing bhajan. When, when you will be leaving this body and where you will go, what will happen, you don't know actually. So what is there, so it is there like that. So that's why what is actually not against uh, bhakti bhajan i have already talked a lot about this point and i have done it in the previous previous past as well and i have told you what is association rup goswami pad has told very beautifully like very beautiful which are rup goswami pad told what is actually association what is sang and bhakti vinod thakur also telling this point to us that in and in that what is all this uh, all i have already told this and uh, and in the fourth shloka i am just uh, talking about from the last two days so these kind of six priti lakshan what i have already told the symptoms of priti so i have already told it previously as well a lot of time that all these six kinds of symptoms of priti so whatever i am doing this uh, uh, these six kinds of priti actually if uh, a topmost uh, version of you are getting that priti then it is very useful for you if you are exchanging that priti that will become a nourishment for your bhakti that will rapidly increase your bhakti and if these six kinds of symptoms of preeti actually it is just exchanged with some bonded jiva or bonded soul or materialistic or a fallen person or who is actually against vaishnav he is my mayavadi if you exchange with them or dharmadhvaji or yashit sangi yashit sangir sangi who are doing association of yashit sangi if you are doing that then definitely you will definitely fall fall uh, get fallen from your bhajan no father can save you from that it will not it is not possible so those who are actually doing hari bhajan especially these are gaudiya uh, they are doing bhajan uh, for them it is actually written for them uh, if other person can understand it is good and kapil ji maharaj mother devahuti actually speaking about this point only that day by day i am i am just uh, getting into this darkness of uh, maya and you just save me from all this and kapil ji maharaj also speaking giving answer kapil ji maharaj giving answer that mother you see actually if because you have to do association if someone will speaking lie that i am not doing association actually he is speaking speaking lie you he has to do association because without association no one can live that is not at all or not at all possible and if he will do association how he will do and if he has to do physical association or maybe mentally association he will be doing so association is a must for everyone so kapil ji maharaj kapil ji maharaj mother deva huti actually speaking that i have been day by day i have become my all this uh, material sense organs so my this unstable material sense organs they are just demanding more material objects and so they are actually all unstable uh, sense organs are just asking something from me and they have that attraction for different different things and uh, thus by this I, by getting associate association with them i have just gone into the darkness of uh, anthatamo if i am staying in some uh, very silent place and i just want to uh, prove that i am not doing any association with anyone i am not doing association with anyone that is not at all possible if he is actually ex- externally he is actually he in a very silent place he is not doing any association but the bonded jeev definitely if he will go in the nirjan bhajan 
at a silent place then definitely he will take his bonded material mind there and uh, he, that material mind will definitely create problem for them why because whatever these six kind of uh, uh, enemies kaam krodh lobh mad mat sarj what is there inside our heart in very fine form definitely this material mind will go there and uh, association karna ye to that is actually the association will definitely be there where whether it's a positive association or negative association you need to do association without association nobody can stay and nobody can speak that i i can live without association nobody can speak like that no one can uh, live without association maybe in fine form and maybe in subtle form that association will be there what bhagwan has told in gita एक्सटर्नली आवर सेंस मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन हु हैज जस्ट कट कंट्रोल्ड हु इज जस्ट स्पीकिंग दैट आई ऑलरेडी कंट्रोल्ड दैन एक्सटर्नली बट इन साइड ही इज एक्चुअली ऑल द टाइम थिंकिंग ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड कपट भाव दिस इज एक्चुअली चीटिंग with himself and for others as well it is better it is it is the that person is better who is actually externally doing all material bhoga enjoying mood but those who are in the renounced order already in the renounced but inside his heart he is all the time thinking of the matter material matter that is the top most dangerous thing kapil ji maharaj i have told i have already told it previously have kapil ji maharaj given the answer that mother that though that association all the uh, material people will do association definitely the association that will become the bondage for them that kind of association you need to leave you don't need to do that kind of association and that association that will just cut our bondage of this material world it means that this uh, material uh, material uh, connection that relation will just get cut that whatever qualities uh, of, and whosoever person are just uh, associated with material things just to leave them that is called nisang not to do association of them those who are in this uh, three modes of material nature those who are uh, connected with that those persons we don't need to do association we don't need to do association of those persons who are just related with the three modes of material nature why because they are act- they, this is all the ocean of material mode of material nature even from ant till brahma they are not out of this material mode of material but brahma has got uh, 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 one boon from bhagwan that uh, what whether you are doing the uh, three modes of material nature you are doing the creation of this prakriti world but definitely you will not get any problem in that you this is my uh, this is my kripa on you so this is actually special kripa of bhagwan but actually if you will just think uh, very minutely the ant from brahma from brahma to land nobody is out of material modes of nature kapil ji maharaj actually speaking to mother deva huti those who are actually this six kind of uh, six kind of uh, this uh, whatever i have told this six kind of things just to exchange priti with that that is called association if the if it is done with the bonded person and who is done with a very uh, 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 foolish man then definitely you that if that exchange of priti is there then definitely you need to pay for that and if this priti symptoms of priti if it is just get exchange with the very uh, topmost version of paramhans there are lot of examples here that uh, because of the association uh, material uh, bond material bondage has been cut by this association with the paramhans it has done a lot of examples are there so like this like uh, when actually when we are just uh, want to become the king of this whole material world when we just want to become the king of this material world then i just want to just uh, rule over the other person i just want to pressurize other person there then sabse bada 
that is the topmost bondage uh, for him that he just uh, got uh, into the three modes of this material nature so to nowadays presently uh, the what is the actual uh, thing for the human civilization so this uh, this dangerous uh, relationship with maya is very dangerous so this relationship is very difficult to cut so bhakti mr thakur ji has already written in kirtan what is this sansar what is this material world this is just like a shadow it's just like a magic like a shadow like magic we have seen that it is not actually uh, true but still it looks true so this uh, sansar is uh, nashwan means it's very it's temporary so whatever we are uh, just all the relatives they have just uh, taken us like they are all of all us so this all the material objects and uh, relatives we just need to make sure we will leave them so that is the top most benefit for us otherwise it's a big problem so that is our main uh, bondage for us so whatever in mat in the temple uh, that is why they are living that's why we just need to stay in mat mandir in ma- and uh, temple and mat because they are actually pure guru vishnu we will get association of their uh, pure guru vishnu and i have already told previously as well that uh, they those who have just made a lo- big hospital but there actually there is no doctor available and all the patients will come and they will just die there in the hospital because no doctor is there to treat the patient you just show if one patient has come there and there is no doctor available to see him and he is getting any happiness there because all the from all the four direction uh, there is disease there is one disease that is our disease and there is a second disease is yours and uh, in between that there is actually if they will both do will do something then definitely whatever my contagious disease will get transferred into that person and whatever his disease will just get transferred to inside me that disease so that is the actual mutual thing you have actually one uh, disease now actually i have two disease now so in this way this is very well dangerous contagious be careful about the negative about this one so this actually contagiousness actually who has that contagiousness that that patient has in that contagion contagiousness so for him treatment is very much important and very carefully actually he has to do treatment oh maharaj actually everything will be there if for corona patient we need to he he need to be quarantined and for the cholera patient actually he need to be in the different department so this is naturally understood so if you will not do that then definitely whatever uh, good uh, people are there definitely they will also become a patient because because this contagious is very dangerous and uh, like this everything is going on i have already told uh, yesterday that prasadam when you are just distributing prasadam and when you are doing prasadam seva to others so who will uh, distribute that somebody will distribute the prasadam no so if i am actually there is exchange of preeti exchange of preeti with someone then definitely we just need to understand this point very really well that if uh, everyone is in the bonded state everyone is in this bonded disease then who will actually maintain whom that is not a sentimental issue what i'm talking if ev- from top to bottom in our temple everyone is a bonded jeev then uh, wa- uh, may one bonded jeev will just serve another bonded jeev uh, all the uh, women will come and you will just exchange preeti with them because there is no controlling in them no brahmachari sadhyasi they they should be in control of them all those uh, paramhans vaishnav and all those uh, like keshav goswami maharaj etc under their guidance we have to stay 
वन टाइम वॉट हैपन दैट परम पूज्य व केशव गुरु आज वॉज जस्ट गोइंग आउट फ्रॉम हिज भजन गुड टू सम वर्क एंड देयर वन सॉन्ग एक्चुअली वन वन सॉन्ग केम टू हिज ईयर्स एंड he said that why uh, from where that uh, sound is coming you tell me actually he said that uh, that sound acts the song is coming from the press so why it's coming from that press he just went to the press and there actually previously radio was actually discovered at that time keshav goswami just uh, just crush the radio with his leg and just uh, crush that radio with his leg and that radio just got destroyed completely and he said that we are actually just want to become foolish here that we just want to just uh, be doing working in the press and just be listening to radio so like this this kind of strict rules and regulations we have to stay under their anugatya of guru vishnu we only have to there is one to devote is have just went to krishnanagar for some work for some office work maharaj has just sent them and they just get late they just uh, came to the math by 4 o'clock maharaj actually just they came to 4 o'clock to why you actually become late maharaj speaking actually you why you went to that math actually you just went actually maharaj uh, and then you where you have taken prasadam ho oh, you taken prasadam there now actually you have to fast for 3 days both the devotees you just need to do 3 uh, devotees and you just need to wash your uh, you just need to wash your mouth with the uh, uh, go mutra and uh, cow dung because they are actually against pravapat they are against pravapat why you have went there now you just need to not get 3 days prasadam you will fast for 3 days and you just need to wash your Uh, you just need to wash your uh, mouth with cow urine and cow dung so this kind of vaishnav so much uh, prema is there for us so much prema for the, all the jeevas they have so that they want to make understand other devotees as well that why you have went there why you are actually exchanging preeti there in that mat why you went there you have you have you taken my permission now actually there is no point of permission oh, okay if my desire is there i will go there actually my desire was there i am going there so this kind of uh, all the bonded jeevas actually they are actually just if they will treat themselves then it is not possible there is one person who is uh, just sitting in hari katha and his attention is on the different uh, different way he is actually already doing a satsang and that person who is doing the kitchen also he is also doing a satsang so pujari jo hai and the pujari also he is also doing a satsang so all these uh, patients to who are diseased if they will just do treatment of uh, themselves then what will be the outcome no outcome will come so definitely we have to think of this point that pratiginati gujyam akshati prachati bhuyate if we just exchange with preeti with some uh, paramhans uh, pure guru vishnu then definitely there is no problem at all but uh, it is not at all possible sometimes why because definitely that a satsang will come that's why there is no increment even in our bhajan if someone is asking that why our uh, we are not increasing our bhajan what is the actual uh, what is the actual reason behind that then actually the reason is that that you are exchanging there is only one reason that my i am getting uh, bad association so whatever dusang that bad association actually it is going on in my life directly or indirectly if some wall externally not doing maybe it is going in the mobile in internet actually it is going it is cheap cheap a satsang very very easily will go into hell there is no other pathway to go in that uh, in the in the pathway of hell just to do um, internet mobile so they is doing a, a bad association in mobile so this kind of bad association what you are doing or satsang how it is come in our, how it will come in our life we can't able to understand that that is beyond our imagination the satsang how it will come in our life 
Maya Devi, that is a, uh, so much entanglement is there. How it will come, we can't even imagine that. There is no imagination about that. So this is a satsang. My satsang is like that. So I will give you one example. That Bharatji Maharaj actually has uh, started bhajan. And uh, he is actually the king of all the world. So nice wife and child, everything he has just left. And has just came to do bhajan. And uh, he has just left his Rajdhani, whatever uh, Ashwarya and uh, opulence was there. He all left that and has just come to do bhajan. And he's, he is doing bhajan because he has that target to do bhajan. That's why he is doing bhajan. And he is actually increasing his bhajan day by day as well. He has got maturity in his bhajan as well. But, but the arrangement of Maya Devi is like that. That at the bank of river Gandaki. He was actually doing uh, uh, that bath and after doing Achman, he was doing that uh, Sandhya Bandhan Anik in the water. He is just standing there in the water and uh, at the time of Arunodaya, he was, he is actually doing his bhajan and, uh, and uh, there is arrangement of Maya Devi from the other end is like that. There is one uh, one lion actually just like uh, crying like home hmm. and after that one uh, uh, small deer, female deer actually just uh, jumped into the river so with surprising mood and what happened? She has just uh, given birth, she has just given birth to one uh, deer baby and she just got killed because his heart got failed. And he, that dear baby is actually just going into the water, drowning in that water. He, Bharat Maharaj is thinking that this is my duty to just protect that dear baby. Okay. Uh, he actually done, done that duty. He has just saved that uh, dear baby and he has just uh, taken him in his own bhajan kutir. And after that, just very carefully, attentively, he just made his uh, nourishment of that dear, dear baby. So his time just gone in that nourishment of that dear baby. And his life just got spoiled see you see how no he has just left all beautiful wife every enjoying mood everything he has just put water on that and left that and you see the arrangement of maya devi that he has just got entangled in maya again so this dear baby actually so uh, very humble but still is it a such this is actually temporary thing so he has just saved that child, okay, but he should have uh, just uh, 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 given that dear child into the um, into the group of uh, of, the, of the deer. That will be that should be his uh, first duty. But the you see the arrangement of Maya that he has just made him in his own bhajan kuti live there and is just maintaining him, nourishing him. So this has become his asad Singh. And if you will just talk about Ranti Dev. Ranti Dev actually just to uh, uh, Krishna has just made a uh, um, just uh, Krishna is just making a um, uh, testing for the Ranti Dev. He has just become a street beggar and he is not having uh, anything to eat. And for 35 to 40 days, he haven't taken anything good to eat. And when actually he is just getting some prasadam from uh, someone, some chhatu, some chapati, everything he is getting. And uh, uh, that good water, cranberry, everything actually he got. And he was just going to eat prasadam. And he actually giving to his, uh, uh, to his wife and child. Someone actually just testing him and just came from outside and just speaking that and then Ranti then he actually just given uh, that thirsty person and very hungry person he has given everything to that person and, be, and with very careful and attentive mood he has just given that chhatu, satwa and whatever was there okay let, 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 let them take this but if someone is, and someone came there to ask that and if just uh, remaining some water was left he has just going to drink that water but at the same time there was just uh, one person coming to just drink that water as well so he has given everything Ranti Dev but he Ranti Dev is not getting bad association why actually uh, all external person is uh, coming he has given everything to them 
सो मे बी सम असत संग शुड बी देयर बट रोंती दो डिडंट गॉट असत संग वेयर एज भरत जी महाराज गॉट असत संग बैड एसोसिएशन हाउ बिकॉज रोंती देव हैज ऑन हिज व्हाट द सीक्रेसी ऑफ हिज भजन that the secrecy of his bhajan is that that i have not done uh, service of everyone i have done the service of krishna that krishna has come in different forms in front of me in uh, because par in parmatma swarup is there inside everyone who had has come in different forms in front of me just to test me that why i am actually thirsty i am hungry so actually i can't see anyone's distressful mood so that's why i will i am able to give him all my food also to that person so this kind of that's why ronti dev got the success in his bhajan why because they thought that whatever i am doing whatever i am giving to everyone that it is all connected with in relationship with bhagwan for service of bhagwan so parmatma has just come in different forms in front of me that is why ronti dev had didn't got any kind of bad association asat sang there is no question regarding that that he has already understood the thing that everything parmatma is coming in different forms in front of me bonded jeev do don't have that much of uh, kripa they don't have that much of capacity that they can't i have already discussed about anarth that how this anarth can go away uh, this i have done already a lot of vichar on that bonded jeevas don't have this much of capacity that by their own individual effort they can go out of anarth and at the same time in all the four direction there is dusang bad association everything everywhere is going on in our life whatever weak point is there <coughs> whatever weak point is there in our life that the actual point is dusang only when you will just uh, find the center point of all this then you will find that that dusung dusang that is asat sang that is responsible for that and if you just find the why it is actually happening then you will find what is the actual reason that why it is doing what is why it is happening like this then asat sang is the main reason behind that so now you can find this is all asat sang that anarth have already discussed that uh, anarth are of four kinds asat rashna hrida durbalya aparad and sarv swarup bhi brahm these are have already discussed about this four kind of aparad and any all the bonded jeevas are uh, not out of all these four anars everyone is inside them so whatever actually which is harmful for us our condition is very harmful so what is actually going on it is just because uh, the satsang is the main reason behind that dusang masijyo sasu sajjed buddhima atah dusang masijyo sasu sajjed buddhima kyu why sant eva asya chindanti the intelligent people they will just leave a satsang and they will definitely do satsang the intelligent person otherwise nothing will happen so after that in the fifth number shlok rup goswami pad actually speaking has written this fifth shlok in the fifth shlok there is the one vichar the vichar is je madhyam that the madhyam the madhyam devotee madhyam adhikari devotee how 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 he will uh, do treatment with the whole material world because when he is there in the material world i cannot uh, i cannot speak with uh, i cannot speak with any material person that is not at all possible because wherever you will go you will find there is you will find that everyone will not do bhajan so for madhyam adhikari devotee there are three kind of uh, types of categories of vaishnav how to serve them and uh, what is the usefulness of that rupa swami pad has written in this context that rupa swami pad told भजन तमीशम सुश्रुषया 
भजन भजनम यह लिखा है भजन विज्ञानम अन्न निंदादि शून्य शून्य हृदय निश्चितम संगलब्ध्या कृष्ण थी यशो गिरी मनसाद्रिया that krishna who is actually that name krishna actually who has it on his tongue definitely you just have to respect that because he is speaking krishna naam you just need to respect that person because he is speaking krishna naam bakyo jasho giri mane bakyo giri means word vakya what he is speaking this name krishna actually is speaking on his tongue that madhyam adhikari actually by your mind and your heart you have to respect this madhyam adhikari devotee definitely you have to respect that and but but those who have already diksha is done in their life and they are doing a hari bhajan and their diksha is already done for them what you have to do for them you just need to respect them you have to pay dhan pranam to them pranat bhishya bhajantam isham aur susu saya bhajan vigyam ananya manya ananya manya nindadi shunya hridam hai hridam ipsito sangala tha means those on the whose tongue actually he is a krishna naam is actually dancing he is speaking krishna naam for in your mind and your heart you just need to respect them and and if he if you have just taken the guru pad padma ashray he has taken he has got diksha from that sadguru and after that for that bhagavat bhakt you just need to from inside your heart you just need to respect you need to respect him you have you need to respect them and at the same time just you have to need pranam on to the lotus feet as well ananya means with ekant those who are actually bhajan vigya always doing bhajan ananya means na anya or else they are not doing a bhajan of anyone else apart from krishna that is ananya that they are just doing bhajan of krishna and not doing bhajan of anyone ananya means they don't have any attention apart from krishna like prabhu paji actually speaking these actually when you are just collecting all these things in uh, and you are just uh, busy in just collecting all the wishes which have no connection with krishna at all that is not at all good so ananya means that ekanti that apart from krishna they don't have any connection with anyone krishna chhod kar jiska attention they don't have any attention apart from anyone they only have attention on krishna if that ekanti bhakt that ekanti bhakt don't have any time so they actually don't like don't have that desire also that they will just be for finding faults in others it means that these uh, all these ekanti krishna bhakt they will not be uh, don't have time to just speak of, of to find faults in others and his heart is very soft and is uh, and all the time he is actually just having this kind of darshan that he is just doing darshan of his ishtadev only this kind of mahabhagwat that kind of person is respectable for us this kind of association we require we need this kind of association विष्ट संग महाभागवत जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी हैव टू 
we have to just uh, do his uh, seva with the serving attitude seva actually in bhakti mo thakur has written in the article as well that this seva word actually where it is applicable like uh, you one person is actually uh, speaking to gorkishor das baba ji maharaj he is speaking to gorkishor das baba ji maharaj that i have just given a uh, given a 100 prasadam to 100 vaishnavs and gorkishor das baba ji actually speaking that uh, where you are uh, f- uh, getting 100 vaishnavs how you uh, from where you get 100 vaishnavs in this whole material world actually we can't uh, find even one pure vaishnav maybe you will get a uh, lot of veshdhari vaishnavs who are in the form of vaishnavs but gor kishor das baba ji is speaking that in this whole material world just to find one pure vaishnav is very difficult and you are speaking that you have given uh, prasadam to 100 uh, vaishnavs where you have find 100 vaishnav <laughs> where you have find 100 vaishnav that you have given 100 vaishnav to for prasadam bhakti vinod thakur also written about a vaishnav seva in his article a lot of things he has written and just to understand that is very important so ananya means ekanti those who are always uh, apart from krishna in their life nothing is there so not they are not actually finding faults in others because they are ekanti they always have uh, their heart attached to krishna vishay that's it so that uh, that mahabhagavat actually is doing all the time lotus feet of krishna is always worshiping you just need to respect that and you just need to uh, do his seva with this arging attitude rup goswami pad has just told this on his own that this seva word actually this seva word where is applicable where it is applicable that we horse seva you can't uh, uh, and uh, uh, chagal seva the dog seva this is not the seva word is not applicable fallen narayan seva this is not applicable but where the seva word is applicable that you have to understand nowadays actually in the market everything is going on in the market now everything is going on like this but seva word actually is it is not applicable everywhere seva word can only be applicable for uh, applicable for krishna only and uh, related uh, things related to krishna it is only applicable there and uh, for others it is not at all applicable daridra fallen narayan seva dev seva hor seva dog seva and bird seva this word seva is not applicable this word is not applicable this word seva is not applicable there seva can only word this word is totally preserved for krishna for for krishna's name dhya dham parikar ekton parshad it is applicable for them this word seva but for others this word seva is not at all applicable this is aparad actually you can't use this word seva there that is aparad prabhupada actually speaking that this word seva is only applicable for his krishna and things related to krishna you can only use that there otherwise you cannot use seva a word anywhere else jayanti there is one word actually all the people are just using this word jayanti and they are just using it cheaply now just like uh, the cost of water like ravindranath jayanti and uh, nazrul jayanti this they are using this jayanti so cheap this jayanti word is now that you can use it anywhere this word jayanti but according to the vichar of shastras that this jayanti word can only be used for bhagwan that is used for bhagwan only and uh, this word jayanti can be used in uh, ramayan mahabharat bhagavad ji mahapuran that you can use it there why because they are all jay granth that they are victorious shastras that if we just understand under guidance of guru vaishnav we will just read that 
डेफिनेटली वी विल कट द मटीरियल बॉन्डेज एंड ही विल गो आउट ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड ही कैन कट दिस मटीरियल बॉन्डेज दिस रामायण और एक्सेट्रा ऑल दी शास्त्रास दे आर ऑल जय ग्रंथ विक्टोरियस शास्त्रास बिकॉज दे आर एक्चुअली रिलेटेड विद भगवान श्री कृष्ण इट इज रिलेटेड विद भगवान श्री राम दे आर जयंती जयंती मीन्स विक्टोरियस बट दिस जयंती वर्ड एक्चुअली इन मार्केट इट्स वेरी चीपली अवेलेबल दे आर यूजिंग दैट सो दैट्स वाई रूप गोस्वामी बाद हैज टोल्ड दैट वॉट एवर इज देयर इन द हार्ट इन द हार्ट वेदर ही हैज दैट एकांतिक भक्त इज ऑलवेज समदर्शी एंड ही इज ऑलवेज बिजी इन श्री कृष्ण भजन एंड ही इज महाभागवत एंड ही इज नॉट फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन एनी वन एंड इज टॉप मोस्ट विज्ञ इन भजन दैट ही हैज द आइडिया हाउ टू डू भजन एंड दैट महाभागवत वैष्णव ही he had always just want to just uh, make sure that they are using the association of mahabhagwat that you definitely have to serve him with a serving attitude this mahabhagwat bhakt only uh, we have to serve them only this mahabhagwat seva just for uh, our abhishth purti means for our selfish motive we don't need to uh, serve them those mahabhagwat for our selfish motive we don't need to serve them for that but if we are uh, serving them with selfless motive then it is good so so this madhyam adhikari the behavior of madhyam adhikari and the behavior of kanishth adhikari everything is uh, uh, written down in details here by rup goswami pad archaya mevo jo sadhya yati nat bhakti shu anasi anneshu shabhakto prakriti अर्चन आदि एवरी थिंग ही हैज बट भगवान बट द डिवोटी ऑफ भगवान इज दैट द भगवान ऑफ पार्षद ऑफ भगवान इज दैट दे आर दे एक्चुअली आर नॉट रिस्पेक्टिंग दैम the kanishtha adhikari because the actual gyan is not imbibed inside his heart he is not actually respecting others but he is doing archan seva and everything this is the symptom of kanishtha adhikari devotee only he is doing archan of bhagwan etc but otherwise he is actually not respecting the devotees of krishna those who are devotees of krishna that is very much dearer to bhagwan इट इज़ वेरी डेरर टू भगवान डेरर एंड नियरर टू भगवान भगवान एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट दे आर मोर डेरर देन माई सेल्फ माई भग डिवोटीज आर मोर डेरर टू मी देन माई सेल्फ वाई बिकॉज दे आर एक्चुअली आर एक्चुअली लविंग माई डिवोटीज दैट्स वाई ही इज एक्चुअली मोर लव आई एम मोर लवफुल देन मी दैट पर्सन हु इज एक्चुअली लविंग माई डिवोटीज प्रीति विद भगवत भक्त भगवत डिवोटिस एंड ऑलवेज विच हुज प्रेम ऑन ईश्वर and they have priti on to uh, bhagwat bhakts bhagwat devotees and and he is actually agyani but still uh, he is not unknowingly doing any aparad aur kipo paksha bali visho su matlab jo videsh karta hai visho su those who are actually against devotees and against bhagwan Who are or those who are always against devotees and Bhagwan? Those you have to avoid. For them, for those you have to avoid those people persons. Just have to avoid them. Ishvare tadha Ishvare tadha adineshu balishe shu dishe suja pe mamaiti ki po pekha jagorati samat. Iska naam hai madhya. So this is called madhya madhikari. The symptoms which I told now.
मध्यम अधिकारी दिस विचार मध्यम अधिकारी मेकिंग दिस विचार दैट ऑल द डिबोटिस ऑफ भगवान दैट ही एज प्रेम फॉर भगवान एंड भगवान इज इज माई फ्रेंड एंड ऑल अदर आर माई भगवान इन सेट दैम एंड हु आर एक्चुअली जस्ट गिविंग मर्सी टू अदर्स एंड दोज हु आर एक्चुअली अवॉइडिंग दैम जस्ट टू अवॉइड दैम दे दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार इज देयर फॉर मध्यम अधिकारी एंड इफ यू आस्क सीरियसली दैट द टॉप मोस्ट पोस्ट ऑफ देयर आर थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ मध्यम अधिकारी प्रिलिमिनरी मध्यम भाग मिडल एंड टॉप मोस्ट सो मध्यम अधिकारी दैट उत्तम टॉप मोस्ट दैट इज दैट दे आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू प्रीचिंग दैट कैटेगरी ऑफ मध्यम अधिकारी नाउ इट कैन बी डन दैट ही इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी वेल एस्टेब्लिश साधु एंड ही हैज गॉट प्रेमा एंड ही इज अ उत्तम डिवोटी बट बट उत्तम डिवोटी एक्चुअली इफ ही इज गोइंग इन भजन दैट ही इज नॉट स्पीकिंग एनी थिंग टू एनी वन बिकॉज इन एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट ही सींग भगवान दैट्स वाई इफ वील गो टू प्रीचिंग दैन दैट इज नॉट गुड and if our pravapad like pravapad and our guru varga they are all paramhans just by uh, by their own will they are just coming on to the madhyam adhikari level and what is actually qualities what is characteristic what is to do what not to do they are teaching us just by uh, uh, their own will they are coming they are coming one step below they are paramhans but just for preaching they have the for uh, madhyam adhikari you need to go for preaching because he need to answer the questions and he need to uh, settle down each and everything and uh, if some pure vaishnav coming and you are not behaving properly then he will definitely do aparad but uh, those madhyam adhikari they have their clear eyes they can understand so dinesh shubhali shishu dishe sucho prema maitri ki bhupikha karo tu jo so madhyama so that is called madhyam adhikari if if a paramhans vaishnav thoda sa hamara he is actually just uh, just to just to give us kripa if he just uh, came down externally is coming uh, down to the level of madhyam adhikari but uh, just by his own will just to teach me and just to understand what is bhajan to me mad, mad, actually he is just came to the madhyam adhikari uttam level why just to give us the instructions because in paramhans avastha it is not at all possible to give instruction because they will be seeing in f krishna in every object that is not possible for uh, uttam adhikari to do that so mercifully they came that madhyam adhikari if it is he is going for preaching that is good and uttam adhikari if they just by their own will they from their high standard they can come to this uh, they can j- just come then drop to that madhyam adhikari uttam level so like if a p- very big person he is actually a- ma pass and he is actually to his uh, own small child very 5 years old he is actually teaching him abcd agar abcd if abcd and then he is actually b for by these all actually teaching to his small child then if some external person coming outside person then he is saying that M, he is ma pass master ji is a big professor he is actually teaching his child uh, this abcd what is this he can just speak like that but he this is the point definitely that what propal our par propa this paramhans uh, vaishnav it is very difficult to get param puja bad keshav goswami maharaj has uh, told us from up till this point that of all the paramhans keshav goswami maharaj in his own pravachan has told this that in this world all uh, all the paramhans in this material on this world uh, which we got in our uh, all uh, has whole civilization the that paramhans who has come to give us instructions to them also that is called bhakti sidan saraswati ko swami thakur bol pa he is the he is the paramhans of all the paramhans he is the paramhans of all the paramhans but externally prabhupad ji actually he is actually used to uh, speak very harshly and like this but it doesn't mean that he is not paramhans so ishware tadadini shu balish jisu chucha prema maitri ki bhupikha jo karta hai iska naam hai so 
दैट इज कॉल्ड द करेक्टरिस्टिक मध्यम अधिकारी सो ही एक्चुअली विद वेरी केयरफुल एंड अटेंटिव मूड इज डूइंग सत्संग एंड इफ देर इज अ वेरी टॉप मोस्ट साधु आई हैव जस्ट नॉट मेड माई बिहेवियर वेल दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिथ ग्रेड आई हैव नॉट डेल्ट विद हिम accordingly with the such behavior this kirtan what narottam ji thakur manottam ji thakur writing in this kirtan it is written by narottam das thakur that narottam das thakur ji actually is writing here that those in in which grade that vaishnav is we have to behave according to that otherwise it will it will be very difficult that in the raga pandit there at pani hati when ragunath das go swami pad just uh, and ragunath just came the just came down at the lotus feet of nitanand prabhu and just taken shelter at that lotus feet of nitanand prabhu then i am speaking that a lot of time i have uh, tried to just uh, get uh, fr- away from the house i but i could, couldn't uh, get out from the house and itanand prabhu just uh, laughing and uh, speaking in joking mood aaj lagu paiya chi dondi vo tumhare nitanand nitanand prabhu just uh, speaking in a very joking mood and ju- just in uh, down under a under a but bricks Uh, at the bank of river ganga and uh, when some devotee speaking actually prabhu actually ragunath is coming ragunath has come ragunath has come and uh, nitanand prabhu was very happy and nitanand prabhu became very happy and speaking are you actually you are a thief you have just uh, came here now uh, you have actually just stolen the heart of gauranga you are actually thief you are actually going here and there now actually i got you today and definitely i'll give you punishment and definitely i'll give you punishment definitely today actually you came in front of me and today and i will give you punishment what kind of punishment what kind of punishment actually he has to do a big bandhara uh ragunath das swami bhi so it means uh, i just want to speak why i am speaking this after that when all actually all prasadam was distributed to all mahants mahajans then after that raga pandit and uh, in the hand of raga pandit it is very important you hear it carefully that uh, from the hands of raga pandit uh, some money was given to raga pandit in the hand actually speaking that uh, the vaishnav uh, what type of vaishnav is that you just need to uh, respect that accordingly so bhakti nath thakur speaking about uh, money nowadays that nowadays this is become a fashion that after uh, bhandara you definitely have to give pranami money to them otherwise no one will come in the bhandara because they with the mind of prasadam they will not come because in the uh, they will when <laughs> the lot big big ticket of bhandara like 500 1000 rupees they are just giving it in bhandara this kind of ticket is just sent this is practical what i am speaking this is not joking so here this vichar is also there ragunath das goswami has told raga pandit to raga pandit that you just uh, take this money in your hand and i am just giving you some money in your hand and you just uh, distribute this according to the type of vaishnav what kind of vaishnav category he is you just distribute this money according to that you just need to respect them and just give to him pranami pranami according to that this kind of thing uh, ragunath das swami told whatever you want to get you give accordingly so this kind of money of ragunath das goswami bhai raga pandit actually has uh, distributed to the grade of the vaishnav accordingly what the vaishnavs have grade he just distributed accordingly so actually a top most vaishnav we are actually if uh, what kind of behavior we are doing with kanishth vidigari if we are doing with uttam adigari then definitely we will be doing aparad bhakti no thakur writing this i'll give you one more example that ragunath das goswami 
आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू नाउ कृष्णदास का भी राज गोस्वामी आई विल टेल यू दैट इन हिज ओन हाउस इन बर्धमान जमार पुकुर देर इज वन प्लेस देयर कृष्णदास का भी राज गोस्वामी इज पूर्वाश्रम देयर अ लॉट ऑफ भंडारा वॉज गोइंग ऑन देयर एंड इन वन उत्सव दैट नित्यानंद प्रभुज टॉप मोस्ट पार्षद मीन केतन रामदास केम देयर ही इज वेरी मच डियर टू नित्यानंद प्रभु ही जस्ट केम देयर मीन केतन रामदास एंड ऑल द डिवोटीज आर जस्ट स्टैंडिंग अप एंड रिस्पेक्टिंग एंड पेइंग डंडवा टू यू बट दिस पुजारी हुज नेम इज गुना गुनानब मिश्र He is actually is not respecting him that much. He did didn't get up also just to pay respect to Mean Ketan Ramdas. At that time he just done aparad on two lotus feet of Mean Ketan Ramdas. And Mean uh, uh, Mean Ketan Ramdas actually by the desire of Nitanand Prabhu, which is actually very rare that Krishna Prem. He actually just he has the uh, capacity to distribute that Krishna Prem. He has that one stick in in his hand, where he actually just uh, beating it with the uh, on the back. He is getting that eternal happiness. Abhiram Thakur also, you know, there is one weep in his with his in his hand. Whosoever will getting that weep on his body, he that person is getting Krishna Prem. so this kind of very uh, surprising uh, characters are there so mean ke the naam das has just came there he is all is a very uh, nice devotee of nitanand prabhu it is just like nitanand prabhu is uh, is the uh, dearer and nearer of nitanand prabhu nitanand prabhu is always there inside his heart present it seems that it is nitanand prabhu himself and nitanand prabhu is uh, He is there inside the heart of Mean Ketan Ram Doras. He is actually Nitanand Parshad. He is Gaur Parshad only. But now Gunanam Mishra is not respecting him, not showing respect to him. Gunanam Mishra hasn't get up from his own position and not paying any respect to him, not paying pranam to him. So then Mean Ketan Katham Dasin then uh, speaking that is called that this person is Rom Harsan. This is Rom Harsan. who was just by seeing uh, nitanand prabhu not uh, paying respect to him balitaran balram came he didn't pay respect to him just by standing up so definitely this is not at all good so this he is rom rom harsan suta mean ketan ram das told this the he is rom harsan suta those who hasn't paid uh, respect to uh, nitanand balram when nitanand balram came there in nameshwaranya He didn't pay respect to Balram, Nitanand Balram. Why he has spoken like this? He is a, this is actually false ego. Why he is spoke, speaking like this? He is speaking like this like big why? Because this is not at all false ego. This is actually truth. This is not at all false ego. This is actually a reality. Why? Because Mean Ketan Ram Das actually in his inside his heart, inside the heart of Mean Ketan Ram Das. नित्यानंद प्रभु इज इज जस्ट राइडिंग इन साइड इज हार्ट इज जस्ट दे आर इन साइड इज हार्ट एंड इज राइडिंग इफ समन इज अ सेवक ऑफ गुरु ही इज एक्चुअल सेवक ऑफ गुरुदेव हु हैज डन सेवक ऑफ गुरुदेव फॉर दैट गुरु इफ समन विल डू अपराध ऑन टू लोटस वीट ऑफ अ डिवोटी देन डेफिनेटली Uh, the guru, that will become an aparad why why the gurudev sevak is more important because he has done the seva of gurudev and he has just by doing seva 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 of gurudev he has just become guru mai he already became guru if you are doing any aparad on to lotus feet of guru sevak then definitely you are doing aparad on lotus feet of gurudev also himself If you are uh, those who are doing actually apra doing aparad on lotus feet of Guru Sevak, he is doing aparad on lo- lotus feet of Guru Dev. That's why Gorang Mahaprabhu speaking. That those who are actually respecting Nityananda Prabhu, definitely they are uh, respecting me. Those who are disrespecting Nityananda Prabhu, those who are just uh, thinking Nityananda Prabhu oppositely, then definitely I have no relationship with them. 
आई हैव नो रिलेशनशिप विद महाप्रभु हिमसल स्पीकिंग सो दिस काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स विच आर देयर इन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अर्स दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल्स वाई बिकॉज इन झामट पुकुर वैन गुनानम मिश्रा जज जस्ट डिसरिस्पेक्टेड मीन केतन रामदास एंड कृष्ण दास का विराज गो स्वामी टोल्ड दैट माई एक्चुअली ब्रदर वॉज देयर इन द पूर्वाश्रम एंड ही हैज लॉट ऑफ निष्ठ ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ गौरंग मनोहरम बट ही हैज नो कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन लोटस फीट ऑफ नित्यन प्रभु ही डोंट हैव आभास ही हैज अभास ऑन टू नित्यन प्रभु नॉट फुल कॉन्फिडेंस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट कृष्ण दास कविराज गोस्वामी इन चैतन्य चरित्रामृत हैज टोल्ड हैज रिटर्न कृष्ण दास कविराज गोस्वामी जी इन चैतन्य चरित्रामृत हैज रिटर्न यू कैन सी दैट that at that time when reem reem in ketan ramdas has just taken his stick and he has just uh, uh, destroyed his own danda into two parts and just uh, gone from there shei kale amar bhatar hoilo sarbanas bangla me likha in bengali he is krishnadas kaviraj pak go swami writing min ketam ramdas when reem ketan ramdas after becoming very unhappy because where there is no respect for nitanand prabhu where I, uh, how will i stay there where there is no respect for guru vaishnav no respect for them i am not going at that place at all if uh, unknowingly also in dream also i will not go unknowingly also not go. why because it is equal to going to hell where uh, how why should i go there so nitanand prabhu there no, there is no respect for nitanand prabhu there so because of that mean ketan ramdas just break his tanda into two pieces and just went away from there and then krishnas kaviraj go home speaking that he written uh, clearly that that at uh, immediately my brother has just uh, destroyed his spiritual life because he don't have 100% belief on nitanand prabhu he has abhas but he has lot of breath in gorang so what it will be concerned to us because gorang mahaprabhu already is speaking this point that if you don't have any confidence on nitanand prabhu then definitely i don't have any relationship with them i have no relationship with them he is actually no one of me maybe he is doing a thousand times my bhajan but still in crores of millions of life nothing will happen in his life in chaitanya ji tamre just read it again and again bhakti no thakur ji is speaking this point so you just need to understand by just hearing this vichar that who actually which kind of grade of vaishnav he is accordingly we need to respect him accordingly if he is a some kanishth devotee he is a very rich man so what he has what he has done oh maharaj when a big vyasasan he just arranged and he just sitting on that vyasasan why because he has lot of money that's why he is going to foreign country he has lot of money millions of rupees he has he was actually beggar in his pre- previous life but now he has millions of rupees and when he just went to the sabha come to the sabha they are all according to material world they are material samaj they are uh, just uh, uh, giving them the chairman asan of the sabhapati he became the sabhapati why because he has lot of money <laughs> he has lot of money because of that he is uh, achar hai so this kind of actually uh, our samaj is actually just doing like like everything is going like in the grihastha uh, ashram uh, so it is uh, just making the rules like that <clears throat> so like that is there is no rules and regulation nothing everything destroyed now so kanishth adhikari the respect for him you have to respect him and madhyam uh, res- the capacity of madhyam adhikari you have to respect him accordingly but the same, same kind of respect we can't give it to uttam adhikari if we'll do that then definitely will become aparadh that will become aparad for us so that's why hamara rup go swami pad has written ekdam clear cut clearly and in depth he has written it rup go swami pad tam manasad priyato dikhyasti chet 
प्रणतिषम शुश्रूषया भजन विज्ञम अन्य मन्य निंदादि शून्य हृदयीक्षित हृदयीक्षित संग लग गया so the seva word actually bhakti no thakur ji has written an article on this as well that in that article bhakti no thakur writing that where actually there is distribution of prasadam there actually where is the question of money there where actually there is distribution of prasadam and money is also distributed then that is actually disrespect of prasadam bhakti no thakur written in article because nobody will actually understand this because if uh, nobody will give pranami then nobody will go in uh, come in bhajan because they are just coming for pranami only if they will not give pranami then definitely oh if we are actually getting chana rasa everything why we should go there just to eat that we just need pranami so this kind of condition has just been raised and now the it is very serious and uh, so this kind of vishay i am just dis- discussing it and i will be going ahead and bhakti no thakur actually writing i will just be discussing that and tomorrow i will be just giving it an in depth uh, analysis of this bhakti no thakur ji has just written in lakshahin gai krishna naam the bhashya ashat lakshahin gai krishna naam manate adar tare karo aviram just be careful about this point those who are already already have not left this material bondage he is still today he is actually he is actually comes in the category of asat today and and his target is not at all fixed today his target is not fixed that i have to do bhajan i have to do like this seva this that so uh, this kind of asat krishna is there inside his heart and if he is speaking krishna naam kirtam parihasyam stobam hiranam eva va vaikuntha naam ganam ashes aga haranam vid edika vagat this is actually written there so asat hai so those who are asat they don't have any fixed target up till now lekin krishna but still he is actually doing krishna naam because he is liking krishna naam that's why lakshahin gai krishna naam so for him what will happen that he actually just have to we are actually is hearing his krishna naam so definitely from heart you need to respect him so just need to respect him who is actually speaking hari naam and those and in those devotees they already got diksha and they are also doing krishna bhajan as well that externally they are doing uh, uh, external diksha no no Ex- actual diksha he has got we are just thinking otherwise prabhupada actually speaking i have already spoken this point that that he has uh, there is vastavik diksha and tathagatit diksha this is not one and the same in bangla uh, kathari katha i have discussed this he has got diksha now and he has just taken the lotus feet of sadguru and after that he has got loved the diksha diksha means that definitely he has done guru pad that's why diksha is possible for him so he has become dikshit now so when he is loved the diksha if he is actually doing a krishna bhajan and he is doing krishna bhajan then then he has got vastavik diksha actually and he is actually doing krishna bhajan as well at the same time if some mahajan is there then definitely we just need to pay dandwa to him and have to respect him and we have to respect him as well with the, we have to do pranam as well as respect as well and those who are very smart in bhajan means that raghunath das ko swami bhagavad has told that this seva this applicable for those sadhu those who are doing absorbing bhajan chatur bhajan chatur those who are very smart sadhu they are very very smart how they are smart how to actually just do 
bhajan why this bhajan is called smart because there all for all four direction there is a problem and in order to just rectify this problem and to do exact actual bhajan so smartness is required so whatever whosoever has done it he know only that knows that like vaman goswami maharaj that he sold that uh, this uh, the rice which is already soaked in water so he is so smart like that 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 uh, the water uh, the rice there in the water is cold now actually is just uh, who is doing and is just making it more cold so you see so uh, smart this sadhu is you can understand this point what i have told you now that all the four direction there is problem and problem that they are against him from all the four direction but still he is actually externally giving respect to everyone and internally he is with full smartness he is doing his hari bhajan he is giving oh maharaj actually you speak hari katha like this like vaman goswami oh no no actually you can speak you can speak. okay like this vaman goswami used to say then uh, those who has uh, done fault in the hari katha everything he will just rectify that one by one so smart actually vaishnav is mahabhagavat those who are doing krishna bhajan actually he is the top most smart he is very much smart very smart why because he has this art of sadhana one gurudev has uh, written one book art of sadhana this is actually art this one kind of art how to actually wear how when how nobody knows nobody knows how why why he has done that a um, person can feel uh, can feel wrong about that but still this uh, smartness in bhajan that is very much important so this kind of smartness in bhajan so those who are actually smart in their bhajan for them uh, these kind of sadhu we just need to serve them why because seva this word actually it is applicable for sadhu only those who are actually paramhans vaishnav and they are very much smart in bhajan and they are actually having darshan of krishna everywhere wherever they are watching they are feeling krishna seeing krishna so this is called a uttam paramhans vaishnav just understand that and those who are thinking that who is my uh, enemy and who are actually doing enmity with our guru varg and you just have to understand that and how to behave with them and uh, those who those who are actually having prem for bhagwan and how to behave with them and those who are just want to make friendship with us just have to have a friendship with the bhagwat bhakt then he just want to uh, do kipa on uh, the foolish person who were very mu- want mercy from others and how to behave with them and just uh, we, uh, we, ju- we just uh, don't need to do association of our enemies those who are against guru vishnu those uh, enemies friendship uh, up and down who don't have anything inside his heart this comparison comparative mood is not there inside his heart so this uh, topmost sang with topmost sang we have to serve him so for them rup goswami pad actually writing that this seva word is applicable for them those who are doing actually absorbing it. and those who don't have any comparative uh, statement in their life comparative mood because this is the actual sthiti of a paramhans condition of paramhans so like this it is so we have to serve them bhakti nu thakur speaking because ragunath das goswami pad this uh, siddhant vichar of ragunath das goswami pad means what rup goswami pad uh, this siddhant vichar actually sorry 
if we will just uh, follow this then like this we have we can just uh, understand how to respect them then definitely if we will just do this then definitely we will get nourishment in our bhakti we will just get eternal happiness in our bhajan so we have to do seva like this so this madhyam adhikari vaishnav those who are madhyam adhikari devotees how we need to do treatment uh, how to do treatment and behavior with them and uh, with whom how we have to do behavior what kind of behavior so we should be very careful all the time we have to be careful and how to do seva and uh, this kind of thing bhakti no thakur has told and prabhupad also told so this in marmanuvad in marmanuvad we just be touching this marmanuvad a bit in marmanuvad gheeti bhakti no thakur has written that just be careful be attentive about this point what i am speaking in marmanuvad kirtan in very very straight forward there is no complication at all shango do shunno hari he shango do sho shunno dikhita dikhito jodi tabo namo gai mano se ador koribo tahare प्रणाम those who are doing ananya bhajan with the kantik bhajan they have just taken shelter of krishna only and their vritti is their bhav is like that ananya bhajan ne biggo jay jan tahare shebibo hari usko seva kar we just need to serve them i have we need to serve them sarvabhute samo je bhakter moti tahar darshan e mani डिस्टिंगशन so this kind of version of this paramans if we just get darshan then definitely we should be feeling very uh, uh, proud that we are serving them we should feel very lucky and with having nishkapat buddhi those who have nishkapat mati uh, for vaishnav when this kind of dharma i will get when i will be this actually this is called bhagavad dharma this is prem vriddhi dharma when i will actually that this vichar will come with that mood with that mood i will go when roop ko swai pad this mood of roop ko swai pad i will just go out of this material world and i will just be going to brajpur isliye moving to brajpur after leaving this material world so this kind of secrecy of bhajan this we just need to understand it's very much important if we will not understand then it is very uh, it is it will be a big problem bhakti siddhan saraswati ko swami thakur ko upa this vichar actually i will speak and tomorrow i will give you the final vichar i have this thing so bhakti siddhan saraswati thakur prabhupad has written that 
दैट भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद हैज रिटन दिस उपदेश अमृत ऑफ शिला रूप को स्वामी पादी और दिस फिफ्थ नंबर श्लोक ही हैज रिटन ए सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर रिटन अ कमेंट्री ऑन दिस भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर मरवानुवाद है ऑलरेडी जस्ट डन द विचार ऑन दैट वेरी ब्यूटीफुली बट भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर बाबा एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इन दिस भाषा दैट कृष्ण एंड टू रिमेन विद कृष्ण एंड कृष्ण नाम दैट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर just to understand that we just need to understand this is the actual aprakrit sadhana jai naam loy name dikhit hoya adar koribe mone sagoshti janiya ye bara vishesh vichar this is a very important vichar both prabhupad speaking that those because this is a the stamp this is a 100% permanent vichar in hari katha also prabhupad used to speak that if we are just going to sit for hari bhajan and we are not understanding the swarup of krishna then our krishna nam is incomplete that's why krishna prabhupada actually used to give updesh we just need to understand the swarup of krishna and if we will not understand the swarup of krishna because we are always uh, remembering anarth we are just uh, in our swarup and in krishna swarup in bhajan vishay and virodhi vishay we have swarup vibram so the we have to under, we have vibram of krishna swarup what who is krishna actually we don't know mahaprabhu has uh, questioned this a lot of time in front of rai mahashay in rai ramanand samvad mahaprabhu you just uh, see that mahaprabhu actually speaking that what you have actually told mahaprabhu speaking mahaprabhu actually just uh, speaking that uh, that uh, for what reason for what reason i came here just to meet you actually all my uh, i am getting all the tattva gyan from you for which for which reason i just came so far to meet you actually i am very much happy that i actually got the tattva darshan but there is one point i maybe something is there after this then rai ramanand actually speaking that prabhu after this actually if someone will ask then in this whole material world in whom brahmand there is nothing i haven't actually uh, found if something mahaprabhu speaking something will be there but actually rai ramanand speaking that actually it is there but is very secret maybe all those sahajya vyakti if they will just they are actually just speaking it openly but rai ramanand mahashi you see you be very careful that how all those sahajyas they are just openly discussing this secret thing but rai ramanand mahashi speaking there is actually one vichar but that is very secret maybe you can uh, like it or not that is radha govind that prem vilas that uh, um, prem vilas actually there is some angriness coming in that in that prem there is some egos coming sweet ego or maybe you will be getting that good or not okay i'll just speak then after that rai mahashay actually speaking that the swarup of krishna he told rai mahashay actually speaking ramanand actually you just tell me the swarup of krishna mahaprabhu actually questioning rai mahashay that you can just uh, uh, open that and hear that what is the swarup of krishna and what is the swarup of radha and what is the swarup of prem what is raso tattva and what is the swarup of raso tattva i am getting lot of anand please tell me i am actually finding that in from your tongue amrit is coming out amrit uh, is going down from your tongue rai ramanand mahashay speaking actually i don't know anything that whether my tongue is getting amrit or poison is coming but it you knows actually because just by your uh, uh, prerna i am just uh, speaking this because i don't have anything you are speaking that i am speaking but actually i am thinking that you are coming on my tongue and uh, just sitting on my tongue and speaking all the all whatever is there and you are just becoming the hearer as well you are just hearing all the swayam on your own rai mukhe bhakta swayam gaur rai rai ramanand rai ramanand actually you are sitting on uh, on the tongue of rai ramanand 
श्री गोरंग महाप्रभु इज सिटिंग देयर एंड इज स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम एंड महाप्रभु एक्चुअली क्वेश्चनिंग दैट वॉट इज टेल मी दिस कृष्ण स्वरूप टेल मी द राधा स्वरूप दैट इज वॉट इज रस तत्व दैट वॉट इज दैट प्रेम तत्व यू जस्ट टेल मी आई एम एक्चुअली बिकमिंग वेरी मच आर्ड एंड टू जस्ट हियर दैट सो प्लीज टेल मी सो सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा दिस विचार actually you just be careful about this no you don't you have to hear because this we will just be tomorrow we'll discussing that that how prabhupad actually how so very in depth discussion he has given prabhupad actually in the first line has told us this and a lot of time prabhupad has told in updesh amrit that you are actually you just uh, understand the swarup of krishna after that you do krishna because we out understanding krishna swarup then uh, some aparad can be done krishna naam abhinna janiya aprakita ekmatro sadan maniya jei naam loy name dikhito hoya adar koribe mane sagosti janiya aaj yaha tak so now actually today we have to just do uh, the, we have to take rest up till this point just uh, forgive me साक्षात आत्मो प्रभवीश्वर जुषम साक्षात आत्म प्रभवीश्वर न भजती अभजानती स्थानद्रष्टा पतंती अदह वाचकुर्वशी के पास पतिता पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो